Hello, I'm Mr. Jamie, and welcome back to another Newport News Parks and Recreation animation video. So get your animator open. That's your software. If uh, needed, click File New. Most of the time it will come up that way. Click View and then All. Use your text tool. That's the big A down near the bottom of the toolbar. And then click in front view on the screen. Type with the shift key held down F, so you get a capital F. Click Build, Extrude, click OK, and use the Move tool to center it. Extrude, I like to say, forces it into the real world. Until you do that, that letter does not technically exist. If you made a video with it like that, it wouldn't be anything there. Now we're going to color it, so click your Materials Editor. Double-click New on the uh, panel where the color goes. You see it circled there. Move the fader all the way up to white on the color wheel. Well, really, fader's next to the color wheel. Click the black box. That's the fourth one down. Move the fader to white on that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Change the number at emissive to be 0.3 or 0 0.3. Click OK and then click Apply. You should now have a bright white F. Don't worry, that's not your grade. Now we need to go to Settings, Object. We're going to identify it by naming it F, and then we're going to click OK. And then we need a new object, so we will click Object New. So we're going to make the word FUN, F-U-N, but we're going to make it with three individual letters that can that way they can each move on their own. And in this tutorial, we are going to animate those individual letters and we're going to add some lighting effects. So this is the first tutorial where we will do lighting and we will use the lighting to change the color on these letters. That's why they're white. Now you will need your text tool again. Click in front view and this time we're going to hold the shift key to type a capital U. Use your Move tool to center it. And again, I say once you type that U and it's got the white boxy, the white outline of the letter, that does not technically exist. By which I mean, if you try to make a video with that, nothing will be there. You need to force it into existence, and that's what Build Extrude does. So you want to click Build, Extrude, use the Move tool to center it. You can do that in either order, and click OK. That click OK is after Build Extrude, sorry. Then double click New for a color. That color you made in the F doesn't appear here. You need to make a new one. And again, move the fader up to white. Click the fourth box, the one that's black. Move the fader up to white. Change emissive to 0.3. Click OK and click Apply. Um, just for your information, emissive is glow. And if you really want something to look white, you need to put some glow on it. Uh, without the glow, the white will look kind of grayish. It needs the glow to really look white. All right, now let's go to Settings Object. We'll name this U because that's what it is. Click OK. We got one more to do. Click Object New. Use the text tool again, that T, not T, that's an A on the toolbar, and click in front view. This time hold the shift key to make a capital N, and then we'll force it into existence by going build, extrude. There are numbers there you could play with if you wanted it to be longer. That changes the size of the letter as far as how wide it is. And then click OK and use your move tool to center it in front view. Really, it should be centered in all views, but front view should be the only one that needs it. Double-click New on the materials, and then move the fader to white once again. Go to the fourth bo box down, the one that's black. Move it up to white once again. Type 0.03 for emissive to give it that glow. Click OK. Click Apply. And you now have a bright white letter. Click Settings, Object. We will name it N because it's an N. 
click OK, click File Save, and actually you have to do File Save As, I forgot to put that, give it a file name and save it, but we're not done. All right, go to Mode, Scene, and then in Scene Mode, View All, you click View and then All, and then click Build, Add Object, and we're going to put in our first object, which will be F, so select the F, click OK, Use the Grow tool to make it larger. Use the Move tool to move it over a little so there's room to center all three letters to spell fun. And then do it again. Do It says repeat 1 through 6. It should say repeat two through six, 3 through 6. That's my mistake. You want to build add objects. Select the U. Click OK. Grow tool. Make it the same size as the others. Move it. And then do the same thing for the N. Steps 3 through 6. All right. Now... We should have the word fun across the screen. Turn on your animation key. The little key at the bottom of the toolbar should turn green. Use your select arrow and select the camera. The camera is the little box in the middle of the screen with the green lines. Well, when you select it, it has green lines going out of it. Now, use the move tool and the rotate tool to get the camera pointing straight ahead. In front view, all you should see is the back corner of the camera. And then we want to move it in top view and front view as needed so that fun fits within the green box of camera view. Because you want to see the whole word on camera, the whole word fun. Now let's go to settings. Click scene. For length, we want to type 200, 200. Just makes it a little longer. Use your select arrow. Oh, I forgot to put click OK. <laughs> so length 200, click OK. Then use your select arrow to click on the F. And then find three seconds on the timeline. It's an O3 on the timeline at the bottom, the little ruler. And click right at that O3. And that was where we're going to start to make our letters move. So really what we're doing at O3 is we're going to make the letter stay where it's at at O3. And we're going to do that by hitting the Move tool. And all we're going to do is click on the letter. Don't actually move it, just click. We're recording a keyframe. We're telling the computer that this is where this will be at that time on the timeline. Now we need to go to 00, zero the beginning of the timeline. You can hit Rewind to do that if you want. Or you can just click on it. And at 00, zero we will use the Move tool and we'll move the F all the way up in top view. So it's going to start from farther back. Because even though it's up in top view, it's actually going back in actual viewage. Yeah, that's a word, sure. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it's farther away once we move it up in top view. All right, now we get our select arrow. We select the letter U. We're going to go to four seconds on the timeline. That's 04. Click on it on the timeline. Get our move tool. Again, click on the U in top view but do not move it. we just setting that keyframe there. Then hit Rewind or click 00 on the beginning of the timeline. Take your Move tool, and in top view, it's time to move the U up to the top so that it's farther away. So the F and the U now at the beginning at 00, zero F and U should be the same distance back. And then we've got one more letter to deal with, so here we go. Select arrow, click on the letter N. This time we're going to go to 05 on the timeline, that's 5 seconds. And if at any point you can't see, like if you don't see 05 on your timeline, just hold the right arrow on your keyboard until it scrolls across the screen. If it's still not there, then you might not have set things right in scene settings, where you should have the 200. Alright, so 05 on the timeline, use the move tool. Click on the end, but again, don't move it. And then click 00, zero or hit the rewind button. 00, zero on the timeline. Get your move tool and move in to the top of top view. So it's now the same distance as the, as the other three letters. All right, then select arrow, and we're going to select F. This time we're going to be working in left view. And we're going to click 03 on the timeline. Get the rotate tool. It's important that you use the right mouse button. Right click, not left. Not your standard left. Right click on the F, but do not actually rotate it. Click 00, zero on the timeline, and then right click to rotate it flat. 
Repeat these five steps, but instead of doing it with F, do it with U. Select arrow, click U, click O3 on the timeline, rotate it with the rotate, I'm sorry, rotate tool, right click it, then go to zero, zero, right click and rotate it flat, and then do the same thing with the N. Remember, you can always pause the video if you didn't have enough time. Now we're going to add our light. Click build, add light, click the dot, dot, dot box next to color. And we're going to make a bright red, so use your color wheel and your fader there to make a good red. Click OK. Click Spot on the remaining menu there. There's three choices of Spot, Infinity, and Local. Click Spot. Click OK. And your light will appear. It'll be pointing straight down. And we'll fix that because we want it to point at the letters. So click, first we got to click the plus sign next to scene 01. Click the plus sign next to world. This is at the beginning of the timeline. And then scroll the little scroll bar down to light 01. In line with light 01, double click at the second long line. So you want to be on that same row that light 01 is. The ruler coming off from light 01 is what I mean by the same line. And then next to color, we're going to click the dot, dot, dot box. We're going to choose a bright green color. Click OK. And then click OK again. Now we're going to double click the fourth long line on the timeline. We're going to again click the dot, dot, dot box. This time we're going to make the color yellow. Click OK. Click OK. So now you have a yellow color. So the light colors are animated. If we do, we're doing this at different points on the timeline, the computer will actually have the light change between the colors we're choosing. And I'm seeing now that I forgot to rotate the light in the steps. So I'm going to give that to you now. You need to use a select arrow, make sure the uh, light is selected, and use your rotate tool to make the light point straight at the letters, F-U-N, straight at the fun. And you can use whatever views needed to get it there. Rotate it so it points straight at the fun and move it with the move tool so that it's at the right height. You really should put it exactly where the camera is. Put it exactly where the camera is facing out at the F-U-N. All right, now back to the steps that are here. Double click at the fifth line on the timeline. Click the dot, dot, dot box. This time we're going to make it blue. I've done kind of a teal blue here, but whatever blue you want. Click OK and click OK again. So now the light will change to blue here. And we've got to go Settings, Environment, uncheck the ground grid. That'll get rid of that grid. Click the dot, dot, dot box there at the top. And we're going to make the background black. So scroll the fader all the way down. Click OK on that. Click OK on the other window that's there. Sorry. <laughs> Click View and then Camera. We're getting ready to render our video. You always want to be looking at Camera View to make sure you render the proper view because the computer will render whatever view you have selected. So going View Camera is the best way to make sure Camera View is what's selected. Then you want to click Render at the top and then Render Movie. Click the dot, dot, dot box for file and enter a file name. Find where you want it on your computer. Enter the file name and click Save. And then you can click OK on that. And then another box, another window will pop up. All you need to do on that window is click OK. And then you need to be patient and wait for the computer to process your video. When it's done, you'll know because it'll stop animating through there. When it's done on the left side, you'll see a little button for close. Just click that close button and actually that's it. You've now made a video. You can go to where that is on your computer and play that video. And that's all for this tutorial. Um, be sure to check out the Newport News Parks Recreation and Tourism instructional programs, especially our computer animation programs. Hopefully uh, we'll be opening up not too long from now. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.